Oh, the legs. I think the Portuguese is Tamisa. Tamisa? Maybe? Good question. I don't know. <laughs> A tour of labyrinths. Hmm, unexpected yet prudent suggestion. Given the similarities uh, between this artificial environment and best ways burrow, it would be in our best interest to have the, lo the lollipops acquainted themselves with those conditions deemed optimal by the Charlian collaborators. I fear, however, that continuing uh, reliance upon my limited knowledge would risk narrowing rather than broadening their perspective. Mayhaps though art better suited to lead this venture. Venture. Oh yes, the worst word would sit. I shall leave its explanation to Hesse. Oh, I like the Oh, it's pretty. Did I die? Die. Do I have color? Goodness me, to build something so large without creation magic is positively, positively stupendous. Perhaps you could direct our attention to its most important features. So the wall is the important features of the observe the mushroom mushroom like thing. Thanks. Metallic tube, okay. Metallic tube. Is that water I hear from inside that uh, great big tube? It must be because of those cogs and that gigant wheel at the top. Oh, I see. That's how they draw the w uh, up the water. But it's probably some sort of a sp spiral shape mechanism inside it. Too. Ah, yeah. it's the mushroom thing. That looks like the trees in Greatest Envile. En en Hold on. That's a bit of a strange shape. It's, it's thin and the bottom... At the bottom, but big and round at the top. Quite all for something so unbalanced. Now it makes sense. That's where they store the water. You can spot a special animal. Really? Ah, oh, Lucas! appear that concept that you observed in another time, another place was approved for life in the wider world somehow oh! I can't remember the ones are gonna cry again <laughs> oh Ah, it's a little hard to see from here. What is that a golden pipe connected to the top of those tanks? And I can see through the window another pipe at the bottom. Oh, this must be purifying water drowned up from below. 
Sweet summer child, you cry more. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I cry a lot today. A lot. A lot. Well, if we were to hazard a guess, water drowned from underground, uh, presumably with some other mechanism. It's pretty fine here and stored in that tower before being distributed elsewhere. Distributed elsewhere. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it. A design brilliant in its simplicity. I dare say it would take only a moment, a moment to install in even the harsh harshest of environments for our law parties. That is. How much? Here's a hint. At one point, I was uh, sobbing and crying for a half a day. My boyfriend was worried. Oh my god. Yeah, because if, if I remember, I'm gonna cry. Whatever. It is like the Mujin train. You know, from Demi Slayer. If I start to think about, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so, it's not gonna get better. I always cry. Oh dear. Indeed, securing a reliable source of water, it is... Water is of the utmost importance for any flooding settlement. Keep it pushing, you sweet summer child. <laughs> we have he uh, read, however, that people of Atheris sometimes make their homes in arid deserts and such. How are they able to survive? Oh my gosh, I'm on 10 hours stream! Ah, <sighs> many settlements in town are built near to an oasis. I just need a waterfall that comes sites for villages. Ah, this one. So, whatever you choose to leave, you're never far from water. Oh dear, I worry you won't be able to procure the necessary amount. We can provide enough water to keep them from dying out completely. But it would appear they really own it far more than we anticipated. Hmm, a few adjustments may be in order. Once we calculated the average rate of consumption per individual, it may also be worth learning more about how exactly they obtain their water in the first place. Ooh. Yep, 10 hours! Oh my gosh. Master Afinald spoke of the machinery responsible for the feat during our journey through logis Logistical Alpha. Did he not? Perhaps the lo lollipops will share his appreciation for the en engineering marvel. Oh, yes, that sounds absolutely splendid. We must journey beyond the sanctuary of Sharlem Helm. I shall lead the way. You mean we will have to brave the untamed wilderness? A valid concern indeed. We could not help but notice that many dangerous looking creatures with big nested lurking beyond the safety confines of this settlement. Were we not escorted uh, here by really uh, custodians? I try to think what would have become of us. Regret uh, regrettably. regrettably. Too many a hungry predator with the uh, aforementioned and big nasty teeth. Lollipops may appear to be a potential and rather a pen sign. Appet uh, oh, appetizing, appetizing, <laughs> appetizing source of sustenance. 
My aim was upon the upon it to assist in securing safe passage to log logistic alpha. For my part, I shall act as escort to leave away and cooking away. Cooking away. I entrust si uh, si singing away and growing away to daycare. A more violent protector they could not wish for. Godspeed. It's so sweet. Oh, thank you, Marin. Bunnies are now lollipops. That's adorable, right? This is much better. They should be lollipops. Lollipops. <laughs> thank you, Maroni. Oh. Yeah, I went up almost. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather not be eaten by some hard best beastie. Come along, going away to the water extraction. What's it? What's it? What's it? My friends, I bid you welcome to Logisticon Alpha. Hmm. Our destination dot lie at the lift top. Pray follow me. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. So this is where the magic or science rather takes place. The perfect environment to sustain life artificially created. The knowledge we gain here will be essential when we start looking for new stars for your kind to inhabit. Apparently, most of them don't even have air for you to breathe. Mm, to breathe. You're all very lucky that Aetris just so happens to provide everything you need to treat. Or did making turn out the way they are they are because of the available resources, I wonder? Either way, it is nothing short of miracle, miracles, and I cannot wait to see more of it. Cooking away! This is all very wonderful, I'm sure, but I was rather hoping to learn more about your nourishment provision facilities. In other words, where is the food? <laughs> I believe both of the knowledge and consumables you seek may be found at the mural agronomics. As I imagine, Singaway and the others intend to study every conceivable fa uh, facet, facet of this apparatus. Would this though be so kind as to score our visiting culinary? Yes, that sounds much more interesting. Hopefully, I will be able to see firsthand some of the del delica delicacies Ranger was telling me about. Even he is incredibly vivid. If I bit to verbals, the description cannot compare to simply them myself. Sampling them myself. Not to mention, Atris will soon be no more so i must learn all i can while you're there is, is still time what but for example i'm gonna fight meteon and i'm not gonna go to the moon what will happen to lollipops and all the hard work they have been doing all their lives is about this build a vessel right Oh, I don't know if I'm going to the moon or not. I'm just saying. If I'm not go, what's gonna happen with them? Let's look no further than that. There you go. This is the place, yes? Uh, the head aroma was enough to guide me here. And I spotted several of the fruit and vegetables featured in our compa compa 
I dearly love to try some, but I read that those who help themselves to a farmer, crops without permission, are often caught and put into pies. Perhaps you could ask whoever in charge if they would be willing to part with a few samples. Okay, so now you're gonna stay with me. There you go. I think. What a fine mess this is. Oh, it's you. The one who climbed down the mine shaft. I'd show you around if I could, where I'm rushed off, my feet preparing for the exit. And I'm not the only one. We all got to find ways to do what we we do down uh, here up there. First on the moon, then on the which, whichever star the far on the sides will become our new home. It's all so sudden, so unreal. Don't you want to go to the moon? Well, it's better than waiting for the final days to climb us. But no matter how carefully it is all planet, we'll never be able to take every variety of a flora and fauna with us. That's right. Even the ones we can take may not survive in their new environment, so many species doom it to extinction. Sorry, that's not what you came to talk about, isn't it? Not quite so dire, I assure you. We might wish to sample a little of your produce, if we may. By all means, help yourself. Much appreciated. My good fellow. So, where to begin? Oh, guys. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, I know what these are. Great, yes? Let's see if they are as delicious as they look. Oh, she's eating. So sweet, so sour. The taste is much like a wheat philosopher's carrot. And yet, the texture is entirely different. The contrast between the outer skin and the fruit within is most peculiar. So far from unpleasant. Yes, I think I will try another. Well, that's certainly giving me food for thought. So in a, in a far less visceral manner than any philosopher's carrot. But tell me, what is your opinion on this? I like grapes. Meh. <laughs> Meh. Oh, the 41 seconds of music that looped. For two or three hours, I was stuck in the damn zone. <gasps> uh, nightmares back. Oh no, I can't take the music um, down. There you guys. At least for now. <laughs> yeah, is there a Moorish anthem? Quite versatile. Oh, for me? The shape? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah now they look better. Alright. Alright, give away. There you go. We have... Here, right? Orange by name, orange by nature. What came first, the fruit or the color? Who cares? Let's eat. <laughs> yes, that's... Mm. Equal parts sweet and sour. As with the grapes, yet nothing alike. I may have a concept of re-enter about expanding my vocabulary. <gasps> oh, voc re-enter vocabulary is not easy. I simply cannot find the words to describe it. Perhaps what I'm looking for is... Bitter? 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 This is all very complicated, you know? So many flavors, so many choices. And each individual with their own personal preference. That's 
so true. And I see why you all turned your noses up to the idea of eating nothing but carrots. Marvelous! Thought they still were in my estimation. Let not one say I said otherwise. Oh, but speaking of carrots, I've yet to sample any of the vegetables. Let's see what is in the field over there. Okay, so let me take this a little... Better? When I go out of this area, I can, I can take the, the music up for you guys again. <laughs> the nightmare, the nightmare! <laughs> nightmare is back! The color, the texture. Are they some sort of enormous round carrots? No? In any case, proper nomenclature is less of a concern than this. In the test. Bum, bum, bum. Bleed, it is so hard and flavorless. I may as well be chewing a piece of wood. <laughs> that all but confirms it. These are nothing more than misbegotten. Failures masquerading as godly carrots. Goodly. Stop. Can't you see these are pumpkins? And no one with any sense would try eating them raw. You're supposed to cook them first. Do you not find it an awful bother? <sighs> Far from it, cooking is a joy unto itself, unto itself. And what's more, is broadens the range of ingredients that we may safely eat. But above all else, cooking allows us to draw out of the full potential of our product. Pumpkin stew has been one of my favorite dishes for as long as I can remember. Mm. I don't like pumpkin stew. Then perhaps even these hard blocks of plant matter can become as delicious as the orange I sampled. I wonder if, uh, if there is anything even more delicious. How about that yellow fruit over yonder? Yellow? Where? Oh. Where is it? Lime? Lemon. Lemons, I think so. What is it? Oh, pear? What a wondrous fragrance. With luck, I will have a flavor to match. As I have no idea how these are eaten, I will just bite into it. Is lemon? What is it? My tongue! Is this poison? <laughs> what is it? Is it lemon? Nah. You mean it's supposed to taste like this? How can something so similar to an orange be so revolting? A lemon. Ah, she just bite it. Hello, Haushin. We missed you. Sand! Lemons! <laughs> How's it going, Sand? Welcome, welcome. Heck. It may be some time before my palate recovers from this. Or do. <laughs> as much as I had call an end to this round of sampling, let's say our far uh, farewells and return to the others. Alright. Good, Harry. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Doing good. Doing good. Finish to have you. I trust you found something to your liking. I'm rather enamored. Enamored. With the grapes and oranges. Last to the pumpkin, though, I learned the hard way they're not to be eating raw. Then there was the lemon. The deceiver. <laughs> I still feel so violated. <laughs> I love lemon with salt. Love it. First time, wasn't it? I'd hate for you to leave with a bad taste of your mouth. In more ways than one, so I will give you this lemon muffin I bake it. If this doesn't change your opinion, nothing will. Mm -hmm. Lemon muffin? Is that on our cookbook? Lemons or lime with salt? Both. Orange with salt. Uh, tangerine. Love it. Love it. Mm. I salivate. 
<laughs> More than one have I not suffered enough? Nevertheless, it would be remains of me to spoon this opportunity to. <laughs> Bit of sick came up there. Learn more of your in inscrutable ways. Very well, Lemon Muffin. Do your worst. Mm. Oh, I think she like it. This is... Delicious! <laughs> Uppercase! <laughs> Although I still <laughs> detect a hint of lemon, it complements the sweetness of the dough to create a perfect harmony. I never would I never would guess it. It's vile bitterness. Bitterness could be utilized so elegantly. My good chap, this is simply breath. Aww, it's so sweet. See? You rarely use lemon in a natural state. But it is a staring role in all sorts of recipes. And the same is true for many other ingredients. It comes down to making the most of the resource at our disposal. And sometimes, that can even be the difference between life and death. I know you won't be able to take every species with us. No doubt the form we're gonna uh, ag agonize it over what was worth preserving and what will be cons uh, consigned to history. Story, history. Hard choices, but make them we must if we are to survive. Oh, jeez. Such strength of will. Now I know what Heidelin sees in your kind. Oh. I don't wanna, I don't wanna cry already. I just started streaming. Mankind, the the lollipops. We were both born from the accumulated knowledge of the ancients. They learn it all there is to to learn about the nature of sentient life and fates of the stars themselves. The lollipops. Yeah, they're the lollipops. Once a civilization has fulfilled the basic requirements for survivor, survival, it will inevitably seek to eliminate all forms of negativity and achieve perfection. And there lies its folly and its downfall. For perfection is an unattainable ideal. This is the paradox of the Immaculate Carrot. Yet, civilizations since time in immemorial have deemed the pursuit of the perfections as progress. They pay no need, no heed to, to the costs incurred in the failure, no future quests, and all too often become the architects of their own demise, their dreams forever unfulfilled. What then is the alternative? The answer lies in knowing that our existence can never be perfect. To be content with what we have and make the most of it. When life gives you lemons, make a lemons muffin. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, pardon my orison, but what in the seven hells are you on about? And who are you anyway? <clears throat> Cooking way at your service. I'm here to help prepare for the trip to the moon. And once you get there, you'll be able to try my carrots. I've been growing all different kinds. But don't worry, there'll be room for your crops too. We will work together to preserve as many of Aetheris, Aetheris species as possible, if you're up to the challenge. Yes, of course, I look forward to it. Well, this has all been highly productive, probably. Let's go and see if Reander and the others have run out of uh, machinery to inspect, shall we? Oh.
Aw, oh, cooking way. So sweet. 